TGIF, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. Happy Friday. I cannot believe one week from now, like, Thanksgiving, that'll be, it'll be Black Friday. Yeah, I mean, the Thanksgiving will be over. We'll be stuck with all these leftovers, and everyone will be busy running around like crazy people crazy in the stores. Crazy people. But let's talk about the meal that we're about to have. You know, next week, everybody's preparing. Um, do you bake? You like to bake, oh, don't you? I love you? to bake. I mean, I used to bake all the time, and these days, time is just a little limited. Limited, but I've never made a pecan pie, because I always leave those up to the experts. A good company? Oh, honey. I know. Dig in. They were kind enough to drop off one of their very popular pies. Of course, this is called the Brazos Bottom Pie. It's so good. Um, it's delicious. I think Perfect. someone's been eating mine already. It looks like saying. it, huh? They're just hard to cut because they're so gooey and mm. amazing. Okay, if oh, this God. is on your list, like you want to bring a pie to somebody's house or serve it at your Thanksgiving table, and you're like, I'm not going to make it. It's never going to turn out right, or I don't even want to add one more thing to the list. How about a drive through pickup? Yeah, they're doing it. Good company at all their locations, starting, I believe, at 8 a.m. next week, 8 to 5. All four of their locations, they have these temporary pop-up drive throughs You can drive right in, super convenient, grab a chocolate pie or a pecan pie. Oh. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. You're so I mean, smart. I'm, I'm really quick You're today. so good. So And it's funny. all at their bar the Good Company barbecue restaurants. You're going to see me there because I'm going to go drive through and pick one up. You're going to go to all four of them, right? I am. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, it is beginning to look a lot like the holidays. And um, right now at Discovery Green, I'm so excited because the ice is finally opening. They're doing something called Frostable. Um, what is that a picture okay, of? Okay, this is the webcam coming from Discovery oh, Green. Oh, there we go. It's just so, so it's purple. the building there. Yeah, just kind of the weird. Oh, but you can uh, see the ice rink there the on the left. The ice is there on the left, and it's prepping. Finally, we've got nice temperatures for ice skating. It's going to open tonight. I know. It's super cool. So the ice at Discovery Green, it's open for a few months. You can see the info on your screen. And also, they have this really cool art installation called Gust, featuring these handmade little windmills. Yes. So you can watch the the wind they're bright and colorful when the sun goes down the lights come on and the lights stay on until midnight so it's a great spot to take a date or take the family and go down and enjoy the Frostival. I know Frostival is so cool they're gonna have ice uh, carvers starting at 3 30 today um, again Discovery Green there's photo ops and of course all these other characters are gonna be there is it Anna from Frozen? I boys we don't really watch Frozen. Uh, is it Anna? 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 Anna. Elsa and Anna. Yeah. Elsa and Anna. I know. Yeah, I'm looking off to the side. Let it go. Just whatever. Go get your picture taken with them. Frostable. Could be fun. It will be fun. Bundle on up. Okay. Still to come on today's show, who will be crowned the winner of our Thanksgiving throwdown? This was so much fun this week. Stay tuned to find out. It was also a very tasty competition we had. You can see those four chefs on the screen. Oh. One of them will win, and I hear very it's close. a very, very close race a lot and of voting you closed right or is voting page. closed yeah don't try to vote okay. anymore it's voting is done the winner will be announced <laughs> live on the Ooh, show it's all business today folks also when it comes to food a twist on thanksgiving leftovers how does turkey pizza sound yeah why not not bad right well chef anthony russo uh will show us how it is done it's a great way to use those leftovers and he's the expert when it comes to pizza right um okay need a, a way to keep the kids entertained over thanksgiving break i know you will in just a few minutes we're going to try out this family friendly game we hear called tic tac tongue we're going to try that out in just a sec. Oh, I can't wait for this. This doesn't look ridiculous at all. No, it fits you like a glove. Yeah, well, thank you. It yeah, was no made. It, it's exactly the shape of my real life nose. Uh, but before we get to that excitement, uh, we love showcasing local designers here at Houston Life. Imagine working alongside your dad, designing one of a kind pieces like embellishments for jackets and even purse straps. Well, Carla Valencia and her dad, Carlos, are a sought after team taking embroidery to the next level, one thread at a time. Welcome to this beautiful design space, and this is Carla Valencia Designs. One of the things that really struck my eye, not only the colors, but the patches. Look at these purse straps. This is all the rage right now. And Carla's been 
learning how to sew basically her entire life. <laughs> Carla is here now. Thanks so much for welcoming me into welcome. your design studio. Such a cool story. You work every single day right alongside your dad. Yes. How neat is that? I know, we can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have been sewing together for quite some time, right? Yes, we definitely have, but sort of this full-time gig now, I think, we've been doing since February. But we've, I've always sewed alongside my dad or at the house with his mother, my grandmother. So and that's yeah. how you learned, right? That's how I learned, yes. It's so cool to keep this going. And, and I think the claim to fame, if I will, yeah. um, are your bright colors, but like these purse straps. I mean, everybody wants something that's so unique yeah. on their purse. And to stop and say, where do you get one of those? Yeah. Who designed that? And everybody knows Carla Valencia. <laughs> I love it. I do. I mean, where do you get your inspiration? Um, honestly, everywhere. I love color. I love happy things. I love bright things. So I'm, I'm, I swear I'm like a dog squirrel if I see color and I just kind of get distracted. Well, and that kind of happened walking in. So I was like, yes. look, at her, look at her sweater. This looks amazing. And she said, oh, you need some help, Courtney. Your jacket yes. is just so camo. Check this out. They've already started working. We have. Adding some color to my jacket. But you're saying... I'm not done, Carla. No, give me that jacket. Okay. We need to do some more fun stuff to it. Okay, what are we doing? So we're gonna add some patches, and this is the fun part, is that no one will have one just like yours. Like, this is completely original to Courtney. Okay. So, I think... Where do you begin? Because you have hundreds of patches, hundreds of designs. So most people kind of have... It's overwhelming at first, but once you look around and see all the patches, you kind of hone in on the ones that you like, which we've already done. So here's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it while you're here okay so that you can take it with you and rock it all day i love it gonna, everybody needs a set of angel wings on their back everybody does and especially some gold blingy shiny ones don't oh you my think? gosh this is amazing so this is it we're going to add these on the back right here and then we're going to add a little evil eye onto the top and this the evil eye is our original design um which we make on our embroidery machines that's kind of what my dad does why so, do you think, while you're still pinning and yeah. moving this all around, why do you think this is caught on? Because you're taking a little bit of your family history, yeah. some um, materials from Mexico, some patches and different yeah. things. I mean, why do you think this is caught on here in Houston? I think, I honestly think it's everywhere. I have clients all over the place, and I think it's that people want original things. And they're also into the old world techniques of things being made by hand. Luckily for us, that's definitely trending and the one-of-a-kindness of it all. And there's no reason why you can't have original sneakers or bags. You, don't, you know, we don't all have to look exactly the same. Okay, yeah. I know your dad's, he looks like he's ready to He's ready to sew this. this. He's ready to get it, get so it together. We okay, we're gonna pass it over to dad. We're gonna yeah. do the magic of TV. He's gonna keep sewing that together. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing us your design space and I'm gonna give like, I don't know, a couple seconds, let my jacket be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, I can't wait to see you in it. Dad, are you done? You're so fast. Oh Here we go. My gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. Isn't it great? It is. Look at the front, though, because you can't just have a party effect. And these are all my grandmother's flowers from what, that she used to make when my father was a child. So we were able to sort of scan them and turn them into patches that we use now. So we get to keep sort of this old with this new. And this is one of my designs um, that we made as well. I love it. It's so awesome. I love it. We get to mix the old with the new and blend culture and tradition with the future to keep telling our story. Isn't cool? <laughs> this Looks is good. amazing. Isn't it good? Yes. It looks good. Oh my gosh, to think that I walked in here with just a regular yeah, camo jacket. Yeah, now you look awesome. Now it looks awesome. How was I living I have no this? idea, but I'm getting chills. Amazing. <laughs> such a treat to see she and her dad in action you know it was just such a neat thing and Carla and her dad Carlos are a very busy team today they're at Abejas and River Oaks they are there with all of their patches all of their material until five tomorrow they're going to be at J Crew in Highland Village from 11 to 5 you can bring a jacket you can bring a canvas bag you can bring your purse to strap on one of those purse straps everything is original design so go see her 
and uh, she'll have all that stuff to purchase Super as well. Super cool. The jacket turned out very, very well. I was very excited. I, I gotta get one too. Definitely. All right, so now it's time to play uh, Tic Tac Tongue. This is a game <laughs> you've probably never heard of because <laughs> we never heard of it until this morning either. But I know. So this you is have, the way it works. Right? Okay, you we're put, gonna these put little on these very flattering masks. Frog faces, uh -huh. right? And then we're gonna take turns drawing these cards. The cards have an insect and a number on them. And then once oh, we have chosen pretty. the insect and number, we have to use our tongues to try to knock down the cards. Okay. And we've never put these on yet. Ew. So, two. Does this, does this hole go in your mouth? I think so, yeah. yeah. Two. Like that. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay, two. Two. So we're gonna go for the number two, which is right there. Ready? Go. Oh, I got it. Okay, next round. Uh, I got the six. Or oh! Oh, yeah. Nine. Okay. Got it, nine. What is it? Ten. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, three. Three? Oh, oh! Oh, you just broke it! <laughs> okay. Well, that was amazing. <laughs> Ugh. I know, right? What Does this think? game come with sanitizing wipes to wipe this thing? Oh, it does say clean after use. On the box, it says clean after use. And it includes four. You know what's interesting is they call them lizard masks. But doesn't it look like a frog? I don't know. I don't know. That what do you think? Should we buy it? Our lives will never ever see. get back. We won't get it back. Was it that well, That long? was fun, folks. Thanks for playing along with us. <laughs> Why don't we move on? Oh, the show started. <laughs> After the break, no more turkey sandwiches. We have delicious Italian recipes to reuse those Thanksgiving leftovers. How about a pie? Yum. Pizza pie. All right. Y'all, next time this week, we're all gonna be in food comas, just saying. Thanksgiving leftovers might be crowding your fridge, and our next guest is showing us how to put them to good use, Italian style. Italiano, head chef and founder of Russo's New York Pizzeria, Anthony Russo right. is in the house. Buongiorno, how are some you? creative ways good. to use the leftovers. Thanksgiving already, right? Yes, Can you we got believe a lot it? of good stuff. I can't believe it's so fast. I would have so never thought turkey pizza. Turkey pizza, you know, with sweet potatoes, like sweet potatoes. ricotta, yeah. and kale is delicious. It it's looks amazing. Amazing. It's really good. So is that just a Easy matter of together. slicing up the sweet potatoes? Sweet potato, and put on, on the pizza crust, then with uh, garlic sauce and ricotta cheese and, and leftover turkey. And you bake in the oven about 10 minutes, and you got a great taste in pizza. Everybody could, could enjoy. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun that. stuff. And it looks beautiful, too. And then we got pasta carbonara, too, with ham. So leftover ham is ideal for next day to toss it in, in pasta. It's really easy, simple to make. Okay. So we're gonna make it with, put a bit of mushrooms, a little bit of mm. olive oil. You know, we're Love gonna saute that. this a little bit and you can toss in the ham. Yeah. I'll let Wanna you put it in? Yeah, go awesome. ahead. Awesome, okay. Yes, there we go, Boom. look at that. And just dice it up dice nicely. Dice it up, you saute it. A little bit, back and forth. And all you have in garlic. there. Sorry, babe. Yeah, I was just gonna I say. I did like a couple teaspoons of garlic, a little bit of onions, chopped red onions, right? Then we add some sweet peas too, because you got leftover peas for Thanksgiving. Always. Oh. Always use peas, right? And you can use peas on pasta, which is easy to use peas on pasta. That's and then we'll add, mm -hmm. you know, fettuccine, you can use any pasta, any kind of that you have left, left over. So you toss in your fettuccine pasta. Now, Thanksgiving is huge in our family, so we got pasta, we got all kinds of great stuff we make for the holidays. Do you like to do kind of a family style? It's all family style. That's the best way, don't you <laughs> think? It is, it is. We cook for everybody. That's right, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. time's dinner? We're coming well, over we, for Christmas. Come on, 12 noon, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to throw in some alfredo sauce into the skillet. It's so simple to make. Just three, four great ingredients, and you can make a nice meal for the next day with mm. grated Parmesan cheese. What do you put in the yeah. alfredo sauce? Oh, uh, Parmesan, salt and pepper, parsley. And uh, you gotta use the best cheese too. Pecorino Romano is what I like. And then you saute it just for a few minutes in a pinch of pepper, a pinch of salt, right? And you got carbonara, right? Oh. Your own version. Yes. <laughs> Your own style. I'll add some mushrooms to it, then some nice ham. And, and you can smell the aroma, it's delicious. Really, that it's really is a nice true style. leftover because you're not spending a it lot is. of time it cooking. Is. Yeah. And you can add turkey too if you want to, also with the ham if you want to, add the turkey as well too in the pasta. Beautiful. It's a choice. You could do that too. That is but a it's gonna protein. Be a beautiful dish, dish, and you just toss it and just plate it, and you can see how nice that looks. Oh. 
And you smell it. Ooh, really, really, really so good. leftover ham, leftover turkey. You start with the portobello you, mushrooms. Olive oil, garlic, and some sweet peas. And um, you got a beautiful dish. Look at that. Easy enough. Great. That's Easy enough. Really look simple. amazing. So we eat Italian at home the next day. Either come to Russo's or we'll bring it to you. You know, we'll, we'll make it for you. <laughs> Are you guys slammed right now this time of year? You know, placing their orders. Catering orders coming in with the pasta trays. We got the giant party pizza, so people are planning in advance to order tray lasagna, baked ziti, all kinds of great stuff. And in case people are wondering, uh, this dish that Courtney is digging into right now, manja, manja. we will have the it's website. Really on our recipe, yes. uh, the recipe on yes. our website, rather, the other way around. Mm, Just right. look for the Scene right. on Houston Life yes. Yes. section yes. on yes. the site. That's right. And we deliver for free. We'll bring it to you. Perfect. Delicious. Bon appetit. Enjoy the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Happy chef. Thanksgiving. Thank you Everyone. so much. Thank you. Are we doing this pizza or that was just for that? I think that's good that's, to go. This By is the way, good, this one, go ahead. If yeah. people want to try to make a pizza at home, you guys do the pre-made dough, right? In case people yeah, want we, to tackle Oh, them. absolutely, yes. We, they can get dough from our restaurant, they can take it home, and, we get, and they can make their own pizza at the house. So, so what's on here? Famous. This is garlic sauce and olive oil, and then you, you can top with mozzarella cheese, it'll be ju just like that pizza. And you can oh. add your favorite topping. Add your cheese on top, and then you got some fresh kale, and you can just Put half of that amount on top of the pizza. Okay. Yes. There we go. It is beautiful. It's something, something you taught me, Anthony, is that you don't use a pizza stone when you're cooking at home. You actually use one of these Oh, I have uh, a screen. Silver yes, I have a screen. Screens. But we use both, too. I like the screen better because it gives a nice, crispy crust at the bottom. So if That's you don't want your nice. pizza to no. fall through and no. make a mess in your no. oven, the pizza like, screen is a great way to go. Oh, yeah. I like it thin and crispy. I love it crispy, you just too. just fold it, New York style. That's what we make at the restaurant. So I think that's what you, you should enjoy at home. And you got, you know, your little... Uh, Sweet potatoes and a little bit of ricotta. Ricotta is delicious with that with the potato. So we wouldn't have to spread it. You're just putting kind of dollops all around yeah, the pizza. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit on top of oh. the pizza. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Very nice. So you, you bake it, eight to ten minutes, and you got a great tasting pizza at home. Very all nice. right, I love it. Chef Very Russo, nice. great to see Excellent. you. And a reminder you. to our viewers that recipe will be on the scene on Houston Life section on our website. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks Ciao. Being here. Thank you. Up next, are you looking to add a furry friend to your family? Coming up, the annual event that brings dozens of adoptable dogs and cats to one prime spot during the holiday season, where you can find them at a window near you. Today's Pet of the Week is brought to you by the Houston SPCA, but first, a successful adoption story. Handsome little Nico was found fending for himself on the streets of Houston, which is no place for a young cat. Definitely not. The kind family that took him in could only keep him for a few weeks before they brought him to the Houston SPCA, and it only took him just a couple of days to find a loving, permanent home. I mean... Super cute. That is so funny that he's in the sink in that photo. His new mom, Kate, recently updated the Houston SPCA on how Nico has settled in oh. so far. And he is fascinated by the running water from the sink. You just saw the photo a second ago. Occasionally hanging out in there to see what's going on. And also apparently likes the refrigerator. Hmm. He loves feather toys in particular and loves sneaking into the open refrigerator when mom is making breakfast. It's a nice, cool place, you know. <laughs> when his parents get home from work, Nico is always up for a good snuggle. They think he is a fantastic addition to their little family and they love him endlessly. I have to agree. I think it's a great addition. Joining us now with another pet looking for her forever home, Lisa Tynan with the Houston SPCA and Faye. Faye. And I do want to, to clarify, it's not Faye, F-A-Y. It's Faye as in my hero, Tina Faye. Tina Faye. Faye. Oh. Yes. L-E-Y. I don't know if that's why they named her that, but I'm going to pretend that it is. Let's just go with it. Let's go with it. She's, she's super cute. Yeah, she's very, very cute. Now, she is a, she's got the chihuahua shakes. Totally. Um, and she can be a little on the timid side, but once she gets to know you, this is lap central. Like, even if you put her down on the ground, she will turn around and jump right back in again. Oh. She does seem very calm, though. Is yes. her de demeanor typically like this? I think it just depends on what she's doing we had her in our office earlier and yes this was it she wanted to sit on the lap and cuddle but when I took her outside and she felt the wind in her hair she got a little little sprightly and ran around and, and snuffled and it was adorable so is the the white fur around her mouth is she an older dog or that's just the that's the just her coloring because you can see she's also got it on her little back okay. toes too so she's just Aww. got a little black and white markings on her um, she's only about a year or two years old so how did she come to you guys she is our typical type of dog where she just wasn't the right fit for her family um, she was living with some cats 
and uh, she wasn't overly fond of the cats. Okay. So <laughs> she just, she was a little bit too excited and chased them a lot. So she'd do great in a home with without cats. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like she does just want some love. So do you think yes. she'd work in like an older person's home or with a family with kids? I think once she settles in, she would do great with everybody. She's a really adaptable dog. She just takes a couple extra minutes to feel settled, but when she is, easy peasy. Well, I'm sure someone will love to adopt little Faye. By the way, speaking of adoptions, the Houston SPCA, they are getting ready to unveil their annual Neiman Marcus Holiday Windows of Life display. And last night, I got a little sneak peek. It's an event that so many of us look forward to every single year when adorable and adoptable puppies and kittens and other small dogs are here at the Neiman Marcus Holiday Windows of Life. Here with all the info, Lisa Tynan from the Houston SPCA. Lisa, okay, the windows are not yet open for business, but for people who are new to this, describe how it all works. This is, it's my favorite time of year. It's so exciting um, because we get to bring everything that we do out into the community. So people who maybe don't know that we exist or don't know that they can adopt a dog or a puppy or a kitten during the holidays, it's right in their face, right when they're at their most giving and excited about the holiday season. So people will walk by and be suddenly surprised by puppies and kittens in their face, and it is so fun to watch. Like the cutest window shopping you can possibly imagine. Now, one of the really important things for people to, people to keep in mind during the holidays is that surprising someone with the gift of a pet is not a good idea. It can go really right or it can go really wrong. So we always tell people to err on the side of caution. So if you want there to be an element of surprise, there absolutely can, but the surprise can be we're going as a family to adopt a puppy together instead of showing up with a box with a puppy or a kitten inside of it. That way you're guaranteed to get an animal that fits your family, that fits your lifestyle, and you know for sure that the recipient is in on the surprise, even just a little bit. So we're more guaranteed to keep that pet in the home. And having a pet, even if one person really wants a pet in the family, the whole family really has to be in on it, right? It's a family affair. Absolutely, and even if you think your kid is ready, maybe it's their first pet, anyone who has a little child knows they don't always take to a pet right away. And every so often we have families who bring a, a new pet back, they say, my kid just wasn't ready. So you wanna make sure you remove any element of surprise in that aspect so that it's not doubly traumatic for your child to be scared of a pet and then feel really guilty that they didn't want it. Absolutely, and you guys do have a way around this if you do want to surprise a loved one with a gift of an adopted pet. You guys have gift cards. We do. You, If you want to still have that element of surprise, you're getting a puppy, hooray, but you don't want to have the actual puppy in hand. We do have gift certificates. You can come in and fill one out. It's a beautifully designed certificate. You can wrap it in a little bow, um, and you'll have the exact same effect, I think. All right. Well, starting November 23rd through December 23rd, that's when we're going to see all these adorable pups, and I'm so glad that we're here tonight for the big preview. You. It's very exciting. We're so grateful you guys are here. Well, we're grateful to be invited. And uh, when is this big reveal going to happen? Pretty soon. We're okay. uh, counting down the minutes. All right, I'm ready. We had a great partnership, obviously, with the SPCA and the Children at City Artworks volunteer to create our backdrop this year. The Houston SPCA and the New Marcus began our partnership 30 years ago this holiday season, where thousands of cats, kittens, puppies, and small dogs have found their new homes Then it was time for the big reveal. Starting next week, all kinds of puppies and kittens will be on display and up for adoption here. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Starting on Black Friday, November 23rd through December 23rd, these windows will be filled with small dogs, puppies, and kittens and they want to come home and live with you. 
The Holiday Windows of Life Pet Adoption event runs November 23rd through December 23rd, as we just mentioned, at Neiman Marcus right there in the Galleria. If you would like more info on pet adoptions and the things you should keep in mind before adopting your next pet, you can log on to the Houston SPCA's website, HoustonSPCA.org. And Lisa Tynan, while we still have you, a reminder that when people are adopting an animal from the Houston SPCA, they've already had their health check. They've been spayed, neutered, yep. gotten their shots. Yep, they are ready to walk out the door. Um, that's one of the great things about the mobile adoption. A lot of times people think they have to put in an application or go through a long process. Once you uh, fill out your adoption form and sign your paperwork, you walk away with a new pet in that moment, and it's a really magical experience. It really is, and that happens right there outside of Neiman's, too, during the holiday season. It's so cool. I've, I've been out there where people, uh, you know, they, there's like a couple people waiting in line for literally that doggy in the window. Like they're fighting over the same They're pet. not fighting, but they're, they're wanting. They're both kind of vying, and it's sort of like, well, I was here first. Well, I was here first. <laughs> and then, you know, it's so cute, though. Like, my boys love to go see the windows. It's such a great opportunity Wonderful. to also bring to light that adoption for dogs and cats is a much needed. Yes, it's the best option, as they say. Absolutely. And uh, we mentioned in the piece, but it bears uh, repeating, a puppy as a surprise gift is maybe not the best idea. So if you do want to surprise someone, just get them a gift card yeah. to the Houston SPCA. We have SPCA. gift cards. You can also, one little idea we have is you can put a stuffed animal representation in there with the gift card so they still get to cuddle something in that moment and it's not just a piece of paper. Very nice. Yeah. And a reminder that Faye is up for adoption as well. Thanks so much, Lisa. Thank Great you. to see you. All right, guys, still to come, downtown Houston is about to get a splash of color this weekend. We're going to tell you about a really cool annual event that's free for the little ones. Well, KPRC Channel 2 has once again teamed up with the Houston Fire Department to help families in need during our annual Operation Stocking Stuffer Toy Drive. And Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is over at Fire Station 37 for today's big kickoff event. And Roseanne, it Eric, sounds you may hear very some nice. Voices in the background, some beautiful voices. That is the Pershing Middle School Girls Choir, and they're joining us here today for one of the biggest events here at the fire department. We're here at Station 37, and I want to tell you more about this drive. Joining me here is El. Bennett with the fire department. Hi, Al. How uh, are you? I'm fine. How are you? Exciting day today, huh? It is. Bad. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, Operation uh, Stocking Stuffers? Operation Stocking Stuffers is an event that was founded years ago by a uh, former school teacher, Miss Laura Jean Young. Um, she was a community activist that wanted to help some of her students who she knew weren't going to have a good Christmas. So she incorporated the fire department and 14 years from me meeting her, this is where we are today. It's incredible. Can you tell people who are watching today that they, you know, how they can help? Well, if you want to help, you can always go by any Houston fire station. We also have businesses throughout the Houston area like Shell, KBR, that are receptive sites for any unused toy or new toy that you might want to donate to brighten one of the citizens of Houston Christmas. Thank you so much, Al. I really appreciate it. And as you know, this effort takes a village. There are many community partners, including Pershing Middle School. Take a look at these pictures. These groups were here earlier today. The first one, you are looking at the Pershing Middle School Classical Guitar Ensemble. They were super psyched to be here. They watched themselves on TV. And the second group here we had earlier, the Pershing Chamber Orchestra, who played some holiday tunes. Again, a big group of uh, students who woke up just to be here for this event. Um, they are not alone. They are here with several community partners and sponsors back out here live. I'm actually joining you here with Tim Fenn with uh, Latham and Watkins. Hi, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having us. Of course. Can you just tell us a little bit about why this is something that your group decided to support? Sure. At Latham and Watkins, it really is two things that we're passionate about, both children at the holidays and as well as the Houston Fire Department. And we want to support both of those. And for us, it's our fourth year. And uh, last year, for example, we donated over 2,000 toys to the effort. And uh, we have a little competition within our office, but it's something that we are proud to be a part of. Uh, you know, can you tell me what it is, it is about, you know, helping kids in need that, you know, fuels the drive to be a part of this? This is certainly a really big effort. Uh, can you tell me why? Sure. So for us, our office is full of people that were born and raised in Houston. And so there's no better time of the year. This is so important at this time of the year to bring joy to people. And for us who've been fortunate to be able to share that, uh, this is what we want to do, and we're able to do it, and we want to continue to support the fire department in that effort. 
Thank you so much, Tim, for joining us. Again, he is one of many groups. And now, for the moment you all have been waiting for, who is singing? This is the choir behind me. This is the Pershing Ensemble, the Pershing Girls Choir, and they are singing some holiday tunes. So I want to make sure you know, you can, for more information, you can head to our website, click to Houston.com slash community. But I want to leave you with a listen of these beautiful voices. They practice all day and weeks to be here for you all. Isn't that beautiful? Very nice. Sixth, seventh, and eighth graders right there. Way to go, ladies. Roseanne Aragon, thank you as well. Okay, guys, coming up, we're going to reveal our winner of our Thanksgiving Throwdown competition. It's coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Music I do too. Want to dance. It is time to announce the winner of our Thanksgiving Throwdown series. All week long, competing chefs have been sharing their holiday-inspired recipes. And besides the bragging rights of being the winner, the winning chef's charity will also get a chance to be featured right here on Houston Life. So who will it be? Here's a quick re recap of the competition. Chef Teddy from Killen's STQ kicked off things on Monday with his red curry sweet potatoes. Meanwhile, Chef Adriana from Ambrosia fired things up with her Japanese Brussels sprouts. Derek? Then Chef Ryan from FM Kitchen and Bar made his family's famous meatball recipe. And rounding things out, we had Chef Kieran of Kieran's, who served up a very flavorful cranberry chutney. And I believe the uh, votes have been tallied. We have the official envelope being handed over now by Miss Katie. And the votes, by the way, Thank were you, you, the public. Thank you for visiting our Facebook page to vote. And Courtney, would you like to do the honors? I would. And let's see. The Thanksgiving throwdown statue goes to <gasps> Adriana Yana Soto, Soto from, from Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Congratulations for your Japanese Brussels sprouts. She was playing for her charity, The Beacon. And we want to give a special thanks to our Thanksgiving Throwdown sponsors, Hardy's Fresh Foods, and Craft Tech's Wholesale Distributors. And you can, by the way, find all of the recipes featured on this week's show under the food section of our website, HoustonLifeTV. All right, well, we are warming up the weekend. Let's check in with meteorologist Kimberl Marshall for a look at the forecast. I just love being here on a Friday when I can talk about this kind of weekend. Look at this in Galveston. That's what we're going to have today and tomorrow. So if you're planning on going to the island tomorrow, it's going to be just the kind of same. Outside our, our studios here in the Southwest Freeway, blue skies there as well. Uh, looking at the Avenue to Houston camera shot, Discovery Green, the ice starts this weekend. So that's going to be fabulous, along with a frostival, they call it. So Santa and ice carving and those kinds of things going to be going on down at Discovery Green. Over at Miller Outdoor Theater. This is the last weekend that Miller's going to be in operation. And tonight at 830, there's going to be a special concert. I am King Michael Jackson experience. That's at 830. It's going to be fabulous. So today, high of 68 to 70 degrees with no rain in the forecast. And you look what's going on in the 10 day. Temperatures are very comfortable through today and tomorrow. A little bit of rain coming in on Sunday. Temperatures drop Sunday afternoon. And then we've got cooler temperatures and rain through Wednesday morning. Enjoy. All right, sounds good, Cambrell. Thank you. Take a look at this artwork now. It's pretty impressive as it is, but even more impressive considering it was created using chalk. I know. Some amazing artists are coming together to chalk it up in downtown Houston this weekend. It's all for a truly great cause. Here to tell us all about the event called Be a Calori, Jennifer Wicksburg Summers, Interim Executive Director for the Center of Hearing and Speech. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. We're just so excited to share with you all the information about the 13th annual Via Calori, benefiting the Center for Hearing and Speech. This is so incredible. I can't believe it's been 13 years already. And when we looked at just that video, uh, that's chalk on the street. It's hard to, d to even understand that that wasn't a painting. I know. So we have artists from all over the world, over 200 of them from as far away as Amsterdam, come and just get creative and place the most beautiful things that you've ever seen, masterpieces on the asphalt. If only they could preserve them forever. I mean, so members of the public, like, we can come in and just look and care, you know, we're careful where we step, right? Well, you are careful where you're set, but we also have five featured artists this year that are going to be um, doing some 3D 
work. So oh. it's a wonderful way to also get um, interactive with the artist and the actual artwork. So you can step inside the square and take your picture there too. It's beautiful. Look at these images we're saying. Unbelievable. This year's theme is deep in the art of Texas. And I love that. Also, um, talk to us. You guys have special guests coming this weekend, right? Yes, we are really excited. Um, Chris Davinsky, um, Houston Astros pitcher, is going to be with us this weekend talking his own art um, square. And uh, there's an opportunity within the VIP booth on Sunday to have like a little meet and greet with him as well. Didn't know he was an artist. Yeah, you know, he was really touched by art um, early on in his youth and um, is a big fan of graffiti art. Yes. Um, so we're keeping it a secret, obviously, what he's going to be talking. But as you know, with the uh, Texas theme, we are um, just looking forward to seeing what he's got for us. A lot of the images that we're seeing uh, created in these in these photos, they're huge, right? But you guys have a mural that is really huge. It's what, 50 feet by 24 feet? 50 by 24, uh, Texas size mural this year. <laughs> um, it is gonna be performed by a Houston area artist, um, Tim Walker, so we're really excited. He has been to Via Glory several years um, in a row, and so we're excited to see what he has to do for us. And this is such a great uh, time to bring, uh, perfect weather, first of all, for the weekend, but this is such a great time for the family to come out, but there's also, we need to talk about the charity uh, aspect of this, because um, the Center for Hearing and Speech has been doing some really great things for youth in our community for a long time. Yeah, so since 1947, um, the Center for Hearing and Speech has been around providing services for children identified um, with hearing loss. Um, we diagnose hearing loss in infants, um, fit them with technology by the time they're two or three weeks old, enroll them in weekly speech therapy, and we even have a private preschool in the back um, for the children to develop their listening and speaking skills. Wow, and you guys are reaching so many young people. Last year, more than 8,500 of them. Yeah, so the center has some far-reaching um, capabilities. We go out into the community and provide free uh, hearing screening services as well as um, ABR services at area hospitals and then the location where we're at on the corner of West Dallas um, and Allen Parkway. Over 8,500 kids were served last year. That's, That's incredible. incredible. It really is. Well, let's talk about the featured fun at the event, the Family Zone, because this is really great for everybody wanting to bring out the kids. This is kid-friendly all the way around. Yes, and the weather is going to be fantastic, so we are really excited. Um, in our Family Zone, we have face painting, tattoos. Um, there's also what's called a Via Bambini area where your kiddos can come and release their inner Michelangelo and chalk themselves um, a square as well for a $10 donation. Um, again, those benefits come back to the Center for Hearing and Speech to help us support the clinical and educational services that we provide for our families. There's some info on your screen right there. We should point out that there are going to be more than 20 local bands, food trucks. It all starts on Saturday the 17th. Can you believe tomorrow's the 17th? 10 a.m. and then of course Sunday as well. Perfect location downtown City Hall and as Courtney mentioned, perfect weather as well. And tickets, um, you, you can buy them at a discount online, but just 10 bucks at the door if you don't do that. In Correct, advance. yes. And I should mention too, the money that we spend here goes directly back into the organization, right? Correct, so we provide free um, therapy for those families that qualify as well as technology. So there's a lot of families out there that need some assistance, hearing aids, cochlear implants can be very expensive. If there's a family out there that think their child might have something, some hearing loss, do they just contact you? Yes, we would love for them to reach out to us. Um, if there are ever any concerns, um, they can reach out 713-523-3633. Um, we provide diagnostic testing for children birth all the way through the age of 18. Wonderful. That is fantastic. And of course, uh, via caloryhouston.com. That is the website to visit for more information about this great event that is happening this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, City Hall, downtown. Jennifer, thank you so much for stopping by. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And keep it right here. We are sharing the one-stop shop to crank out your holiday shopping list and where you and the kids can get a history lesson on trains dating back to the 1950s. Your around town events are right after the break. Around Town is brought to you by the Junior League of the Woodlands. And if you're still thinking about what to do this weekend, we've got some ideas for you, starting with their 16th annual holiday market. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. I got a preview of it yesterday. Let me tell you, it is 
fantastic. From toys to clothes to cocktails, Bloody Mary mix, amazing. Something for everybody on your holiday list this year. You can head on over to the Woodlands Waterway Marriott Hotel and Convention Center all weekend long. Tickets, just 15 bucks. Doors close at 6 p.m. tonight. We'll reopen tomorrow at 9 a.m. Sunday hours are from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure you go out and shop till you drop. All right. And uh, as we mentioned, today's Around Town segment is brought to you by uh, Junior League. Happening tonight, the return of James Black to the Alley stage for A Christmas Carol, A Ghost Story of Christmas. It is an imaginative retelling of Charles Dickens' classic story, which follows Ebenezer Scrooge's journey with three ghosts who visit him on Christmas Eve. Performances start at 7.30 and will run through Sunday, December 30th. Tickets to A Christmas Carol start at just 26 bucks and can be found on online at alleytheater.org. And happening tomorrow, a new exhibit opens up at the Rosenberg Railroad Museum. The entire family will enjoy called Toy Trains Through the Ages. It will feature the trains of the Ives, of Lionel, American Flyer, and Marks, and will outline the history of the companies. A post-war era, all aboard, American Flyer train layout dating back to the 1950s will also be in operation and viewable for visitors to enjoy. General admission is $5 for children 2 to 14 and $6 for seniors, military, and first responders. $7.50 for adults. Regular operating hours are Wednesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 and Sunday 1 to 5. Thank you for all that information, Courtney. <laughs> and after the break, it takes a lot of hard work to keep text looking so oh. cute. We are talking with his official stylist about the unique technique right after this. Technique. Technique. Oh, are you kidding me? How cute is that? Little TV Ooh. Text had a great day visiting with Santa yesterday at the Galleria. Definitely chatting to see if we make the naughty or nice. Oh, totes year. nice. Hello. TV Tex is all over town snapping photos with everyone he meets, which means he has to stay looking picture perfect at all times. Of course. We caught up with his groomer to find out just how Tex stays looking so fluffy and cute. Hmm. Well, you got to dry him up and then we're going to cut his hair. <gasps> no, we're not cutting it all off. We're just giving him a little trim. <laughs> Brushing and combing your dog is very important, just like you do your own hair. In the Houston area, we have a lot of humidity. Um, and the one thing that we find is dogs that don't get groomed often are very prone to yeast infections. Um, and then that can lead to bacterial infections, and it just leads to overall, you know, miserable discomfort for your pet and your animal. And you end up spending, you know, three times as much as a vet trying to remedy the problem um, than getting your dog groomed. If you have a big fluffy dog, like if Tex, with his coat right now, and everybody wants to keep him fluffy and, you know, in a nice fluffy teddy bear cut, um, you know, Tex is brushed at home, so that's good. And right now he has his puppy coat, which is nice and soft. So once a month on a dog like this is perfectly fine, as long as you're keeping up brushing on your own. If you're not keeping up brushing on your own and you have and you want the groomer to do it, a dog like this with this kind of coat should come see the groomer every two weeks. We've heard the things about the, you know, oh, it'll dry the dog's coats out and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of really, really good new products out there and it's actually good to bathe your dogs in them uh, frequently. They help the skin, they help the coat, they keep mites and dander, stuff like that from building up. They work to moisturize, uh, you know, the hair and the coat. Keep your dogs on a monthly flea regimen and not the ones from the grocery store. The freeze is the only thing that kills fleas. If we don't get a freeze here in Houston in the springtime, we usually see a huge spike in fleas. All these things can happen just from walking your dog. You know, a flea jumps on them, or they walk through, uh, you know, a, a flea patch. Same thing with ticks. Um, you know, you can get into an area where there's just a ton of them, and 
you'd never know. Go to your, your vet. They can recommend usually the best products, um, and they're going to know what is going to be best for your dog. Tex likes to be kept really fluffy. And it's a fluffy puppy coat. So what we did is we just round and used thinning and blending shears to round the feet, make them nice up off the ground so we don't have any of the hair on the ground, but they still have a very natural look to them. They're not choppy. They're not squared. And then they're beveled up into the back of the leg, which keeps the back of the paw off of the mud and the water. Also, we clean out between the eyes to keep it nice and clean so he can see, but then yet he still has his beautiful puppy face. Give me a kiss. And there he is, Mr. Tex. I mean, completely fresh. Little fluffy puppy. I you know, know. he has the best so hair. He just sat here watching that entire story. I know. Look, he's watching himself right now. Look at I love his rocker hair. It just makes me so happy. Really he cute. literally reminds me so much of like a Build-A-Bear. It's almost <laughs> like he's not real. It's crazy. But he is real. No That's biting. the best part. No biting. We have posted a link to find more information on Texas Groomer, the pet barber, on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Tex, no bite. And I love the groomer, no though, because he's totally chill, you know? You can't yeah. be like high anxiety groomer. True. Doesn't work. <laughs> what, do you want him to be screaming? Like, do most groomers... <laughs> Freak out? I lost it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm going to read this next portion. How about that? TV Dex, by the way, does have his very own foundation. You're freaking his in his mouth. <laughs> his foundation gives back to the Houston SPCA. That is, of course, the place where we found him and adopted him from. You can find more information on how to help Tex give back by visiting HoustonLife.tv. I'm back. Courtney, I'm back. get it together. I'm good. We'll be right back with more Houston Life. I he, lost it. He has, my <laughs> ring was in his mouth. <laughs> We're going to be taking a look back at some of our favorite segments here at Houston Life. We hope all of you enjoy the holidays and spend some really great quality time with friends and family. I think Tex needs a holiday nap. I'm ready. All that turkey. He's like, dude, get me off this show. Happy Friday. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend, everybody.